In order to understand the story of blood transfusion, we must know something about blood itself. Blood flowing in our body consists of two parts, solid particles called cells and a liquid called plasma in which the cells float. When a wound is made, blood escapes and forms a clot. The liquid remaining after the cells have clotted is no longer called plasma, but serum. Therefore, blood inside our body is made up of cells floating in liquid plasma. This is called whole blood. But when blood leaves our body, it divides into clotted cells and liquid serum. The modern story of blood transfusion starts with two great discoveries made at the beginning of this century. Before 1900, doctors had not understood why some transfusions were successful, while others caused bad reactions and even death. But in 1901, Landsteiner, a young scientist in Vienna, thought there might be different kinds of human blood, which might account for blood not always mixing properly when transfused from one person to another. To test this, he carried out an experiment of which this diagram is a simple illustration. Ten samples of blood are taken from ten men into ten test tubes. The blood in the tubes then divides into its two main parts, serum, shown white, and cells, shown black. Now here are a hundred empty test tubes. Into the first row across is put serum from the first man. Into the second row across, serum from the second man, and so on until all the hundred have serum in them. Then into the first row down are put cells from the first man, into the second row down, cells from the second man, then the third row, and so on, until each lot of serum is mixed with each lot of cells, making a hundred serum cell mixtures. Soon, differences are seen in the mixtures. Some show spots. These spots mean that the cells have clumped together. This is the dangerous agglutination which has caused so many deaths. From studying these results, it was found that there are four different kinds of human blood, or four blood groups. These are called Group O, Group A, Group B, and Group AB. There is, of course, no difference in quality or purity between bloods of different groups. Group B blood is just as good as Group A or Group AB, and Group O as good as any of the others. The only advantage of Group O blood is that it can be given to people of any blood group without clumping taking place. Landsteiner's discovery solved one major difficulty standing in the way of successful blood transfusion, but another remains.